Hello everybody, George Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. Uh, this is to go with our um, cards that the public of us, the papercraft group, are run um, to send to their nearest and dearest, let them know they're thinking of them. And this is actually for a mail. So I'm going to make it again. For this I've used Well Dressed and Beautiful you with that wishing you brighter days to come which we need in this day and age day and age and the, what's happening at the moment we're all looking for brighter days I have got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eight scored at four and one eight folded in half and now burnished Um, I have got a piece of the blue tartney from the clubhouse papers which will go there I have a piece of white cardstock oh sorry this is five and five eighths by three and seven eighths our normal size and then this is five and a quarter by three and a half and this is five and one eighth by three and three eighths. And that'll go over the top. I've already embossed this with a wall and brick embossing folder, but we've got to cut it. I don't know if you can see here and here. I've actually cut the thingy, but where I've stuck this, it is um I've either stuck it too low or too high and I've hid the split. I actually made this card as a birthday card for my brother-in-law up in Scotland. Um, but again, I posted it without before filming it. So, um, and, and I made it a 5x7. So, of course, I've had to shrink it all down to a 6x4 as I call them. So this isn't in the right place. I might just see about moving this bit down to here. We'll see. We'll see what it looks like. I might just be waffling. You're saying, what's she on about? Right then. I've already cut the background of this. Which is here. And we're going to cut the inner one. I wasn't meant to cut that, but I did. Got carried away. I've got a scrap of grey for the hat. When we cut out the bit of green off of this one, we need it for the collar. Let me stick that in. And I've got scrap of night navy for the dots. And I've also got the tailored punch. And a hole punch to make the dots. I think they're a quarter, this is a quarter inch one, it's not a stamping up one. Don't know who made this one. So, and I've got some scrap whites for the sentiment. So, first of all, let's cut this out with the tailored dies and I can't remember what size I used oh dear was it this one yeah oh that's lucky it just goes on there sit on top of there. Uh, no, I don't need anything else with that. 
That can go back in the wallet. Oh, by the way, that was the nesting dies. That can go in the bin. Need that and that and that to stamp on. So let's get our stamping done. I'm going to use Night and Navy. And we're going to stamp the tie. Stamp that. There. Hopefully in the middle of the card. Not quite in the middle, but that'll do. Alright, and the hat, which we will cut out by hand. There, on the grey. And the sentiment. Stamp there, and we'll punch that out. That's our stamping done. Right. that out and we also want a tartan one out for to cut behind it and we want to cut this hat out and I want to cut it out actually on the line I don't want no border Cutting. Right. That's that done. That will sort out in a minute. That's the hat done, that done. I need to bring this in. So we want this. Right side facing. We need our ruler. And a pencil. And what we want to do is mark down 1 and 7 eighths. Just a little pencil mark and two inches. Turn it round and do the same the other side. So you want one and seven eighths and two inches. And then grab your trimmer. And you're going to put this in. So the one and seven eighths there, 
and the two inch one there, line them up and cut them off. Then the bit you cut off, bring that back and cut off the other line. So we've got that much of a gap. That's not very much of a gap. I'm going to do some more. That's better. And then we have our gap between them. And with me, um, What do you call it? Uh, no, it's not very big. I think I'll just colour this in. I'm just gonna let me get my pens. No one. I will get my scraps, regals. See if I've got a bit of pear preserves in here, which I don't think I have. Everything else, but. Pear bazaars. Hmm. All this for a little bit of cardstock. up the collar bit of my tie and stamp it down. There we are. Grab my scissors and cut the collar out. There we have our collar, which we'll just glue on there. Might have been quicker just colouring it in. It's not the same. And then we'll glue this. I 
on top of here. That's that piece ready, that's ready. Cut this in half. And just glue around the edge of the top. And place that on there. And do the same with the bottom. And place that on there. that ready. Now we have to glue this on the white piece of card. And some extra glue with it being embossed. So, leaving your usual borders To the same here, making sure it lines up there and there. Oh, I've cut that the right way, that's all right. That way it's cut that way, and this one it's cut up the way. Which is all right because then that will go down there, and that will go there. Yes. All right. I'll stick this. There's a bigger border on this. And then we've got to stick this on the card base. And we need dimensionals on these. Use all these up before I open another packet. That'll 
we'll do that. And then this, I just want a bit up here. That's a bit big. This will do. And then yeah. I don't know how much of that I need on at the moment, so take it backs off. Place that. That's it. There. Need a bit there. and add some glue to this bit. And it's sticking to my thumb. to the blue bit. glue on this end and we will place that rubbish at the side of me. I want some navy blue dots so I should just punch out five dots. It's only because I don't have any black gems left and I need to get some. So I'm going to place three up here. One, two, three. And just stick them up top. Yeah. 
and there we have it hope you like it if you do give us a thumbs up if you'd like to see more of my videos please subscribe and if you press the bell icon you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday all I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.